So the question is, do you really need full frame? Everybody says I love the full frame lock, but actually there's a very big misconception behind it. Coming up. Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews, but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. So today, besides all the gear reviews that I've done in the past, um, I want to focus on right now on something um, that's yeah, very common to filmmaking, actually the sensor size and normally when it comes to film or cinematography super 35 millimeter was always um, yeah common in cinematography full frame is just like let's say a revolution or a trend that came back then when the canon 5d um, yeah was able to shoot full hd video and now we have the alexa mini lf with a full frame sensor the red red monster with a vista vision so also full frame sensor and many people are saying, yeah, I like that full frame look um, because that gets me the most shallow depth of field. And that's actually not true. So uh, you need to understand that a bigger sensor gives you a wider field of view. So let's compare the full frame sensor from the Canon EOS R6 against uh, the super 35 millimeter sensor of my Red Komodo. You see the sensor of the Komodo is slightly smaller and that's uh, why we have to keep in mind the crop factor. So when we compare everything is, um, yeah, our benchmark, so to say, is full frame. And from there we count up the um, crop factor. So basically micro four thirds like the GS5 has a 2x crop. So compared to full frame, this is the look that you would get using the exact same lens. And that basically means when you're using, in this case, I was using a 50 millimeter lens, it would mean it, it would match the field of view um, of a 100 millimeter lens on the full frame sensor. So now the Red Komodo has a 1.3x crop, so it's much wider, but also not as wide as full frame. But now let's focus on the background and, and also the the out of focus area of the background, so the depth of field. Because many people are saying, yes, I want a full frame look because it gives me most shallow depth of field. And that's actually a, misconcep a misconception because if we look at the same shot right now, we are seeing both cameras are ex at the exact same spot with the exact same lens settings all the same. We see that the blurriness of the background is equal, so it doesn't matter if it is full frame or super 35. But we obviously see that the field of view is much wider on the um, Canon EOS R6. So now let's see what happens when I move the red Komodo back to get the same field of view as I have with my full frame camera. So now you see I had to step back quite a bit to get the same field of view and therefore I lose my shallow depth of field. So it's not as um, blurry as it was before or compared to full frame um, because so there is the misconception, <laughs> misconception coming from. Uh, what gives you the out of focus area is um, the distance from your camera in relation, in relation to your subject. Also depending on the lens that you're using and also the f-stop, but that's a whole other topic here. But that's basically now what we've done when we move the camera back. I have to move back further so the distance of my camera is much further away so I don't get the same shallow depth of field if I wear that close. So if you move closer and you move to something and you focus to something which is closer to you, then obviously the background gets blurrier. So that's uh, really what you need to understand. And also um, if we are talking about sensor size in general, what is better for you as a filmmaker, that's something that only you gonna know because that also depends on what kind of work you do. Because if you're working in a lot of tight spaces basically, or you have a lot of low light situations, a full frame sensor would do a much better job because it gives you a wilder field of view and because of the wilder field of view of the bigger sensor size, it's also able to capture more light and thus uh, should be normally much better in low light situations. 
But anyway, if you're shooting in wide areas and you have the ability to move back, to move closer whatsoever, um, that basically isn't uh, the way to go. So hopefully that was understandable for you. If you have any further questions to this topic, feel free to ask me in the comments below and I can see you in my very next video. Cheers guys!